Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today with an extreme durability test of the tiny DJI Spark. Hey, it brought me a Coke. No. That almost was the first test. Let's enjoy the episode. Let's right now go for a crash test. I'm, of course, accidentally fly the DJI Spark right into the branches of a tree. We have two possibilities. It either falls down or it's capable of re-stabilizing itself in air. And if it falls down, there are, again, two possibilities. It either won't break or it will break. Don't break. I don't know if you guys can see it. The drone is currently staring at us. It is stuck in the tree, but it's actually pretty fascinating that it keeps on working. It crashed, I don't know, like four or five times already. My gosh, I see my investment dying today. It looks good still. As you guys can see, it's still perfectly flying. This thing is unbeatable. And by the way, of course, I turned off the uh, front sensors for flying right at the tree, because otherwise the system would have stopped us. You're a beast. Land at my palm. What if you ever end up in a rain shower? Let's just take it to the test. Would you be able to make your way back safely? Three minutes flight test in this actually pretty heavy rain. Oh my. So little drone, you're flying in the rain. Pretty heavy rain, actually. I only hope that you survive. I really cannot recommend flying in such rain showers. It doesn't look pretty healthy. So the drone's top is already wet. It's still alive. It's the real life test. Would you be able to make it safely back to your position? So do not fly in these kind of rain showers under normal circumstances if you don't have to. Why not cruising around a little bit? The problem is that my phone is too wet to be used um, right now. Let me just wait. For another minute, I cannot control the drone any further. And um, let's just see if we can get it back connected. We are connected again. And the phone is dry again. So the drone is pretty wet already. Did my phone die? This is pretty bad actually. Seriously? Yep, my phone is dead. And that's the return to home. You can see guys, my phone completely. It's not doing anything. But the drone is still safe and landing currently. Come on, you can make it sweetie pie. Oh my. Okay. My phone really gave up, guys, and the drone is completely wet, but it's still functional. Um, and I'll be telling you whether it's really working later on in the studio and right now. I'm heading back to the car. You guys can see the drone is wet all over. And um, 
I'm going to dry it um, carefully with a towel and uh, after that I'm going to put it in into some rice. But it did a lot better than I thought and seriously my phone died. And this is not normal. Actually, an iPhone should just survive that bit of rain. So let's head back to the studio. Oh my. I often heard people discussing the question whether the tiny DJI Spark quadrocopter was capable of flying with three propellers only or what happens for example if they damage one in flight. Why not taking it to the test? You maybe should pause the video if you have feelings for the Spark because right now we're going to cut off one of the propellers and after that take off. A tiny short propeller. As you can see three and a half props. The actual problem though is that the spark is pretty smart. It won't take off like that because it feels that it has less lift on the one arm where the prop is cut off. Oh, no takeoff at all. Let's just give this a retry. Camera, please point down there. Retry. We can see that it doesn't want to take off meaning that I will have to hand take off and give it some extra lift with my hand. Please be very careful when practicing something like that. You probably shouldn't be practicing something like that at all. Let's just give it a try. Palm launch with three and a half props. Oh, that was an immediate crash and I'm kind of happy that it didn't crash into me. I did this test quite a couple of times before already and it was behaving completely different. Whoa! Oh, careful, careful! As you can see, it's rotating around its own axis like crazy. Even though it is pretty stable in air, there is one huge problem, it doesn't auto land. Meaning that right now with the smartphone I told it to land. And it is gonna land right now. And it's gonna land, it's gonna take some time. As you can see, it's pretty stable. It's rotating around its own axis, looking like an, an alien ship. It is gonna land. You can see, it's lowering the altitude. This machine is really pretty safe. Only DJI maybe should enhance that um, once the spark detects that one propeller is broken or something, it should auto land. But besides that, it's pretty accurate. Welcome to the all new Tom's Tech Time website. Let me show you around. Dozens of how-to videos, reviews and comparisons are waiting for you. All categorized, all free, all ready to watch. At tomstechtime.com, you're only one click away from our highly viewed segment, The Drone Film School. There you can find video lessons, buyer's guides, and many filmmaking templates. Don't own a drone yet? Click the Deals page and find the hottest offers on the web. And if you already have a drone, enhance its capabilities with the most highly recommended accessories for filmmaking, safety, and a better flying experience. Tomstechtime.com, teaching the world how to fly drones. So let's right now go for a maximum payload test. Again, the tiny DJI Spark. We're gonna attach one of these bags to it. Um, let me take the weight of the first one. It is pretty much exactly 200 grams. We're just gonna attach it and gonna try to take off and gonna see whether it's possible flying the Spark with 200 extra grams attached underneath it. Oh, 200 grams only. 
Let's give this a retry, an immediate retry. As you guys can see, 200 grams only, it was uncontrollable. I was uh, pushing it up all the way. And whenever I try to fly forwards, backwards, right or left, it started rotating uncontrollable with 200 grams only. Oh my, you poor, poor drone. How about another test? This time, not 200, but approximately. 400 grams 400 grams of weight again we're going to attach it to the spark and going to see what's happening four hundred grams one final test I've again added some extra weight to the spark this time the bag down here weighs approximately 700 grams, meaning that the spark probably won't be able to lift it off. I'm gonna place it on a scale and gonna calculate how much weight remains on the scale. And after that, we should be knowing the maximum payload. I'm not quite sure if this is gonna work. It would probably be working a lot better with a Phantom, but let's give this a try. As I told you guys, this might not be exact and accurate at all. It was capable of lifting up 408 grams, meaning eight grams more than during the second test. But you guys saw that that wasn't really working out. The drone was only crashing with 400 grams attached to it. This drone is basically not made for any transportation. And if you want to find a drone that is good for some transportation, check out the link in the description below the video. And um, the maximum you can transport with this is, I don't know, a slice of pizza, something like that, but one slice only. The wind speed is approximately 16 till 17 knots, which equals to maybe 30 kilometers per hour. And on the official wind scale, the before scale, it is a fresh breeze. Let's just see if we can fly the DJI Spark in a fresh breeze and if it is safe and a go-to solution, or if it's dangerous already. Guys, the spark traveled from the takeoff position over here to a tree over there on its own. This is not dramatic, but it's a huge change. It's for sure three or four meters already. And you can see that it has some problems in the sky. I'm only hoping that it doesn't crash into the tree. I'm not gonna interfere today. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Whoa, guys, you gotta see this. <laughs> I hope you can see it in the camera. The uh, DJI Spark is completely covered in this orange berry stuff. It cut down the branch pretty effectively and it's all over the camera, all over the sensor, all over the propellers and the prop guards. But I guess the drone survived. And um, I gotta clean it up definitely though. Looks a little bit disgusting. Yes, you can fly the DJI Spark at wind speeds of approximately 16 knots. And you could for sure add another four or five or six knots to be still able to fly, but that's not the point. I think it's not safe anymore. I think it's safe 
up to approximately 12 knots, maybe something like that. Because I was able to really see that the spark was taken away by wind gusts a couple of times with 60 knots of wind. This bird is pretty stable for its size and price, but it's not comparable to a DJI Phantom, to a DJI Inspire, or not even to a DJI Mavic Pro. What happens if the DJI Spark gets hit by an object in air? It is actually pretty stable. The only thing that I notice is that the barometer isn't quite precise. You can see it was over here at the beginning and right now it's up there. It's raising height slowly, but not really fast. It always tries, as you can see, to get back towards its original position. It's maybe off one meter right now. The one thing that is not working precise is the barometer. In this case, the drone auto landed, and that's what it's doing from time to time. There seems to be no rule in that. It sometimes lands when it's being hit from the ground or when it's being pulled down out of the sky, and sometimes it just recovers and tries to hover again. And the one thing that I'm unhappy about is the barometer, because the height always depends. If something hits it, it might end up here, or it might end up at the bottom, it's not really traveling back towards its original position or height, um, while the GPS and GLONASS system really reposition it quite well. So all over, it's not crashing, pretty safe, but not perfect. Thank you guys for watching this episode of mine. Don't forget to share it, don't forget to leave a thumb up, and at the end of the episode, you should really have some kind of a dessert. Stay tuned for safe. This is so dumb and should not be done at home. Hmm.